Hey guys, hold on to your seats if you're into that sort of thing, and no judgment if you are. What I'm about to tell you is no joke. The thumbnail is not clickbait, I wish it was. What I'm about to tell you might even just break your heart. So yeah, this is going to be a more serious video. So if you're here for more of the talking dog or watching the crew of the Enterprise, watch me go to the bathroom, go check out those other videos. But this is really important. First off, it's important that I give you some context. You probably haven't given this much thought, but are you aware that manga artists don't even make a livable wage today? Two-thirds of them make less than 14000 U.S. dollars a year, and another third of them make less than $7,000 U.S. a year. Some of them live in what they call share houses. Everybody gets their own little room closet to live in, and then they share other living spaces like kitchens, bathrooms, that sort of thing. Some creators are even outright homeless and live in manga cafes. But here's the kicker. A new invoice system is going to be introduced later this year that is going to change everything, and not for the better. Freelancers in the manga industry who were previously tax-exempt will be forced to pay taxes, and many won't be able to afford it. And there's a secondary, more sinister impact this law is going to have that may even affect some YouTubers out there, but I'll get to more of that in a bit. Right now, manga artists have two main sources of income, manuscript fees and royalties. But manuscript fees have been incredibly low for decades due to Japan's prolonged economic stagnation and the recession in the publishing industry. So, if this invoice system is introduced, freelancers in the manga industry would be forced out of business because they couldn't bear the additional tax payments and reduced income. On top of that, most of them would have to hire tax accountants, which is another burden they flat out wouldn't be able to afford. Basically, even if they somehow became manga artists, they wouldn't be able to make a living without at least one side job. Oh, and that secondary sinister effect I referenced earlier? Remember the Sokovia Accords in Captain America Civil War? Basically, it was the Superhero Registration Act. Not only would heroes have to register in order to operate, but they would also be forced to reveal their true identities. The same is true for this invoice system. In order to work as a freelancer, they would have to register with this system. And then their true names would be available publicly. And I'm not just talking about manga and anime artists. This would include voice actors and even VTubers. <laughs> yeah. Not only does that raise some obvious privacy concerns, but we're talking about jeopardizing people's safety. Remember that pop idol girl from a couple years back who was assaulted when her stalker was able to figure out where she lived just from the reflection in her eye in a picture? Making personal information publicly available could be catastrophic. And I'm not the only one sounding the alarm bell here. Recently, a large news conference was held by leaders from all facets of the industry, including heavy hitters like Masuo Ueda, whose past work includes Boruto the movie, Cowboy Bebop the movie, and Sword Art Online, and Studio Trigger CEO Masahiko Otsuka, whose career includes Ghibli's Whisper of the Heart, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and Cyberpunk Edgerunners. I'm sure you've heard of some of those. They spoke not only about the harsh reality of manga artists even as it stands today, but more importantly, how this new invoice system, which goes into effect on October 1st of 2023, could spell the beginning of the end for the entire industry. Before this press conference, they conducted an industry-wide survey, and not only did they not find anyone who was in favor of this, but they couldn't find anyone who could explain who this was for and what this was for because there was so little communication from the government about what this was supposed to do. Even for larger artists who frequently have assistants that they employ, they couldn't afford to keep them. And as with any craft, the usual way to become a professional manga artist is to first gain experience as an assistant. But if this system is allowed to go through, people flat out won't be able to become an assistant, and their dream of becoming a manga artist dies at the hands of greed and bureaucracy. So what's the upshot? How does this all play out if this goes through? Well, with less and less people to do the actual work, the Japanese manga industry will likely be swallowed up by the likes of South Korea and China. Over time, there's going to be less and less new material, leaving only the heavy hitters in play like One Piece, My Hero Academia, and Jojo. But over time, those anime eventually will come to a close. Those stories will end, those artists will retire and go on to do other things. As those shows disappear, 
there won't be a new chainsaw man or demon slayer to take their place. There just will be nothing. It will slowly fade out and die off. I've linked the full article so you can learn more about this in the description box below. So guys, if you're a fan of manga and anime, then we need to band together and fight for the future of this beloved industry. Share this video, like and subscribe so we can trigger the algorithm and help spread the word because this is not a drill. We need to act now before it's too late. John A.